Your Excellency, thanks for your time. Welcome to CNBC. Thank you. Thank you for having me. What is the focus of the Ministry of Industry and Mineral Resources here on the ground at FII? Good question. You know, FII for me, it's just like uh, having a small kid uh, going into a toy store. Uh, it's, it's a great place to meet people, especially investors. Uh, since now we just launched last week, uh, as you probably know, our uh, industrial strategy. This strategy aims to attract investors and what a better place than FII. So what is the core focus of the new industrial strategy and what's the opportunity for international investors here? It's, it's, uh, it's uh, you know, a huge strategy that will transform Saudi Arabia from where it is today to where we want to be. So it's a mixture really of great ambitions of numbers. So we, we are growing the contribution of the industrial sector by two, three times. So uh, taking it to uh, almost $260 billion in 2030, growing our export by two times by 2030 and almost five times uh, in, in 2035, we, uh, we are attracting invest investments uh, around $1 trillion by 2030 and almost $2 trillion by 2035. We have more than 80, 800 uh, uh, projects that are uh, sizable, interesting for the international community as well as the local market. So it's a huge uh, uh, strategy, also focusing on quality products where we uh, intend to be really in the high-tech industry, uh, in downstream, especially with our petrochemical industry, we have great opportunity to go downstream, added value products that are uh, more into the final product uh, rather than just the raw material. In the uh, metal, coming also from our resources of uh, mineral resources, uh, areas like uh, uh, machinery, equipment, uh, renewable uh, industry will open up great opportunities. And finally, you know, we, we are also utilizing our uh, geographical location where we see Saudi Arabia has the right to be a, uh, a partner and a strong player in the supply chain globally. Let's talk about that supply chain initiative. Saudi Arabia recently just earmarked 2.7 billion US dollars to encourage global supply firms to set up and invest into the kingdom. So what is the vision and what is the ambition with that new initiative? I think the, what, what we have seen in the global community in the last two, three years, the vulnerability of uh, the supply chain uh, that has been built in the last, I would say, 30 years on certain uh, uh, assumptions, uh, is, is all have been disrupted. The conflict that we, we see today between Russia and Ukraine is also creating another wave. So the, the global community needs to rethink how to, to, to put a different installation globally. And we see Saudi Arabia a great opportunity, uh, a great hub for different industries. We have a great market. I mean, we have a great local market, regional market. We have great access to different areas such as Africa and uh, Asia and so on. So that is the, the whole essence. And it, if you connect it also with I, what was I was trying, to, uh, what I was uh, describing about the uh, our industrial strategy, it also all fall into place. So the investment that we're looking for is from the uh, uh, you know enabling more uh, our ports, our ne local uh, networks our also uh, maritime uh, industry, uh, the, the um, uh, railway uh, expansion, including also uh, industrial cities and so on. So it's a complete integrated strategy between the industrial strategy and the uh, uh, supply chain also. Your Excellency, what we're seeing on the ground here in Saudi Arabia is an enormous investment to transform this economy and transform this society by 2030. Where are we at in that ambition, would you say? Still a long way to go or making genuine progress? It's, 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 a, it's definitely a journey, but I, we're not long a way ago. I mean, today, when it comes to some of our targets, we are actually seeing uh, some of the targets being uh, 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 you know, uh, achieved even before 2030. If we look at the industrial sector, uh, although we just launched the strategy itself, but since the launch of the Vision 2030, the growth of the sector, the number of factories, for example, grew about 50% just from the time of the launch of 
the vision until today. So we're just seeing the momentum, the amount of financing that has been offered to the sector from the launch of the vision until today is more than what we have offered to the sector in the last 35 years. This shows you how we are uh, progressing. Also targets such as automotive, where we struggled many, many years to bring automotive uh, investors here. We, uh, our target of 300,000 uh, vehicles by 2030 uh, is, is, is almost certain with Lucid, and we, we have two also. Uh, we are uh, yet to be announced, inshallah, very soon. Let's also talk about how you're tapping into Saudi Arabia's mineral wealth in order to develop the economy and that industry further. I guess most people would look at Saudi Arabia, they think of the country predominantly as an oil exporter. What are you doing in the mineral space to take advantage of what Saudi Arabia already has? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a very exciting uh, area. I mean, uh, when, when I was appointed as Minister of Industry and Mining, I never thought that this kind of attention would actually come uh, from the global community towards mining. Mining is becoming more and more important. It's, it's just as a result of the you know, global community targets for net zero, they need the minerals, they need, there's a clear shortage. The advancement in the technology, in every aspect of the technology, are needing more critical minerals. We have seen countries like the UK uh, announcing their uh, critical mineral strategy just uh, recently. The U.S. announced also recently a list of critical and strategic minerals. This just shows the attention. We, we are privileged in this country really to come out with the strategy of, of mining at this uh, time. Definitely it's, it's, uh, it's core. Uh, we have great uh, uh, stories to talk about. And we are moving very fast with, uh, with, the, with different projects, uh, especially with uh, you know, uh, upstream to ensure that the minerals are available for downstream. The, the model we have done in aluminum, for example, we have shown the world that you can actually take the minerals from your country and process it and have finished product. So aluminum today, we are most of the aluminum we get from our uh, uh, mines is actually processed and finished product, finished added value products that is going to industries like food processing or automotive. That's the kind of, uh, of sector that we are building. Definitely we have abundance of many minerals that we will export to the world. We have launched uh, to kickstart quickly our mining also activities, the program of auctions. So we, we, we closed an auction two months ago for one of the areas here near Riyadh called Khnegiyya. Great deposits of zinc and copper. We are actually closing one uh, also, hopefully, this few days. And we are moving with a sequence of different uh, uh, auctions for locations with great deposits that are economically viable for investors. Minister, it's great to speak with you today. Thanks so much for sharing some of your insights. Thank you.